last video I showed you how to use stamps to apply colour to your fabric. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use stencils. Now this is a, a stencil I've picked up somewhere for it says for card making, scrapbooking and journaling projects. But again there's no reason why you can't use any stencil for um, your designs. I mean, this one's come with quite a few little bits and bobs in it. It's quite, it's quite nice. This one. Um, let me just take. I might go for that one. That's quite nice. You don't have to use the whole stencil. You can use elements of the stencil to just give you a pattern. Um, still got the ink, fabric paint from the last video. Those of you who haven't watched that video, I've just poured some fabric paint onto a plate. And I'm just using regular kitchen sponge. It doesn't have to be anything um, expensive. Um, this particular one is Dylon. I'll buy them in little jars like this. As I said earlier, you can buy deco art fabric paint from the works. I've in the past I've picked up some from Tesco's and other brands. So there's lots of brands out there. So and as long as it says for fabric, it means it's got a fabric medium already mixed in and when you iron it, it is permanent. All I'm going to do is use my sponge, which has been loaded with the ink still, and I can just use it like that. You could also use a screen print method where you put a screen down and then you squidge it through a stencil. That's another way of doing it. As you can see if I just lift that up you can see and I can actually have a go at repositioning the design. If I didn't want the heart specifically I could actually reposition that and extend it further. You'd never know. It was a stencil for anything else. So I could do that all the way across. So actually using a stencil Always make sure you've got a tray of water nearby so you can drop it in the tray of water, assuming you're not going to use it again, um, so the paint doesn't destroy your stencils. There's one thing you've got to do is clean up afterwards. Um, what I've also done in the past, so it's not just um, bought ones, I've also cut my own. I know you can see how on this here I've sketched out a design and then with a craft knife I've cut the design out. This is quite a big, big design. I wouldn't fit my little tiny piece of fabric that's here, unfortunately, but that was for a bigger piece. And all I've used is a cereal packet. Um, what's good about a cereal packet is it's got some resistance to the fabric paint, and so it can last you quite a few uses. It doesn't break down too quickly. So, yeah. The difficulty with this obviously is you can't really see through it, so it's not see-through. Having said that, once you've used a stencil a few times, they're not see-through either really. Um, also what I've done um, is I have a cutting machine. Having said that, if you haven't got a cutting machine, you can still cut it by hand. And you can buy, like a, I don't know if you can see that, I think you can, it's just a clear plastic. Again, you could recycle that from packaging. If you've got some packaging um, with this sort of clear plastic on, use that and you can cut your design out. I'll just show you, you can't see the design, that this has been cut out using um, a cutting machine. The one I had was a Pazzles, it's, but I don't think they make them anymore. But there are other brands out there, it's a Brother Scan and Cut, I believe. Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't put this through a die or just a regular hand Sizzix die cutting type machine. I'm sure that will cut out a stencil for you. Um, and you'll see if I lift that up now. We have, we can't quite see it, can you? Let me just move that for you. I've got a key that I've just printed. So that's using, again, it's like a handmade stencil using a cutting machine and just the equivalent of a piece of pack X packaging so all good for the environment 
Now there's one thing with uh, printing, you're going to end up with lots of stuff that needs cleaning. I don't waste this in here. I'd wet this piece of rag, oh no, in this case I'm not even wet it. And I would just mop up. And as I say, if I wet it and mop it up, you could also end up with some really quite interesting fabric just from cleaning up. Let me go run that under the tap and I'll show you how it looks. 